everyone my name is Victoria and welcome to my planner channel I'm glad that you're with me today this is my first planner video and it's gonna be a haul I have stuff from Amazon as well as Michaels so let's get right into it I did two Amazon hauls and I picked up a few things in those and I'm gonna show you each so let's start with my well, I don't want to say my planner because I'm not going to use it as my planner. But let's start with the Happy Planner. And this is an 18-month planner. And I chose it because it was really pretty. Um, let's see. Yeah. It says, believe you can and you're halfway there. Uh, my only problem with this is when I was ordering it, I did not realize that it was in dashboard layout dashboard layout is fine I actually like it now that I have it but I really wanted vertical so I'm not yet sure what I'm gonna do with this planner I may keep it or I may give it away but I like how it's set out um, you have your shopping list your errands emails etc you have all that set out for you right there but I don't know, I preferred vertical, so that's what I'm going to get. But let's just look at how beautiful it is. I mean, really? Really? It doesn't get much prettier. Today is a good day for a good day. Living color. Let's look at a few more. Some art splashes. It's really up my alley. I'm just really upset that it's in dashboard. But I see a lot of people have, like, multiple planners, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do yet maybe I'll keep it maybe I'll give it away I'll find something to do with it that's for sure so I got that I also got this teacher planner and it's from bloom daily planners um, it's got the pretty florals on the front um, let's take a look at the inside uh, florals again um, it has some nice tabs important info um, substitute we don't we don't really do substitutes like that um, where I'm from but I'll make it work so we have your pages for each month you get a monthly calendar undated and it has some nice quotes in it you have space for notes space for lesson planning uh, you have a couple pages of this so you can plan for every week uh, and then you have your review page and it moves on to a new month so I'm interested in seeing how this is gonna go I also have another teacher planner but we'll see we'll see as it goes along which one I'll end up using Next, I have some extensions. I have this budget planner extension from the Happy Planner, of course. It's undated, and I believe it's supposed to last about six months. It's going to fit in a classic size Happy Planner. Um, what's it got in here? Stickers, calendar pages, dividers, monthly budget, expense tracker, etc. Apologies for the noise, guys. so we can get an idea you've got your cover page um, savings goals um, nice divider that says money um, undated as it said so you can put in the months and so on bill payment checklist your expense tracker What else have we got? Oh, so you've got a couple pages of those. Yeah, and then I guess you have your budget review for the month. And it probably just repeats like that. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can get to the... Oh, there's also a folder at the back. And I guess you can put your stickers in there. We have... Is it one or is it two? Two sheets of stickers. Um, you see their finance theme, payday, the little um, piggy bank. 
Um, some dollar signs. So it's beautiful for when you have bills. Paid stickers. Uh, we've got some monthly tabs and labels. More paid stickers. Treat yourself. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm looking forward to implementing this. All right, let me get this out of the way. So that's the budget planner. I also got the fitness extension. And this is undated, of course, so you can put whatever date you're starting in here and go from there. I got two of them because the price was right. It was really cheap. And I figured I'm probably going to need more than four months worth because I think each one of these has four months of tracking for your fitness in it uh what's in here it's gonna fit a classic size planner Ooh, sorry for the noise there's stickers dividers your monthly pages etc okay so here we have it uh this first one says take care of your body it's the only place you have to live in and you've got your month Monthly view, undated, weekly food and exercise log. I like this because you track your exercise on the bottom and then your food and your meal planning can go in here. You'll probably add some note paper if you really want to get like detailed with your meal planning, your recipes and stuff. It just continues like that for how many ever weeks in that month and at the end whoops at the end of the month you have a pro space for a progress selfie so you can take a picture of yourself and stick it there and um, some ratings what motivates you give yourself a couple stars and um, these are the remaining dividers everything with the happy planner is really pretty work hard and be proud of what you achieve that's nice um, okay let's see the stickers that came and like the budget tracker we have two sets of stickers so we've got a bunch of number stickers and if you look back at the front you'll see it has circles so I'm guessing that's why these number stickers are circular they're like a nice matte finish and once again you have your months that you can stick onto the dividers so you'll know i mean there's no fitness stickers in here which is kind of a bummer it's just a bunch of numbers and like some asterisks but you can i guess buy them elsewhere it doesn't come with a folder by the way like holy budget plan i had a folding back that that does not seem to be the case what's next next i got um pack of stencils um, line it up and check it off these are like just easy ruler type stencils that you can just wait a minute oh right so it's two separate ones one's um, circles one squares However, it looks like I actually got two of them. I didn't realize this when I was buying it, clearly. So now I have an extra set that I can give away or, you know, dispose of otherwise. <laughs> but essentially, it's a two-pack of stencils. Let's take a look. One says, line it up. The other says, check it off. And these are check box stencils, and these ones have the circle. So you can choose your box or your circles if you don't have any stickers or if you just want to drawing a few lines. I guess it could also double as a ruler, so I thought that would be cool. And it's perforated, so it goes straight into the planner. Uh, I got a set of pens. I mean, these really aren't saying anything much to me, but these came with the Happy Planner. It was in a combo when I bought it. I also got this precision cutter with ceramic blade by Slice. I was watching a video, I believe it is 
at home with Kita. I think it's her video that she recommended this cutter. And sometimes I print my own stickers and it's a pain to cut them with the scissors. So we'll see if this works. Last but not least from this part of the Amazon haul, I have two sticker books, Budget and Teacher. Um, I guess you'll get to know me over time, but I am a teacher, so I got the teacher set. When I bought it, I didn't realize that it was for the teacher planner that they have. So the stickers are a little bit fatter. They're a little wider, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Lots of nice stickers about teaching. Work hard, play hard. I like that one. Um, you can also use it if you're not a teacher, as you can use many of their books like that. To do, to buy, some hearts, some flags, uh, birthday stickers. These are nice. Notes, long weekend. I don't think I have any long weekends coming up this term. That upsets me. So tabs, notebooks. I, could, I think I can also use this for like um, my leisure reading. Because I can just put what I'm reading in that little box. On duty flags and so on and so forth. I'll probably do a flip through of each book later on. Um, but this one is the budget tracker tell your money exactly where to go and you'll not wonder where it went i like that one sometimes i get a little bit carried away but um it's actually got stickers with you know spreads about budgeting so you have your no spend tracker your monthly budget sticker if you want to stick it right into your uh, monthly page a couple of those um Some blank, blank ones. You have personal food, grocery, medical, etc. Some savings, peas, weekly expenses. I like this. I would use this for like just tallying what I spend on a daily basis. Because sometimes the little one and two dollars that you spend get away from you. So I'll probably use this to track that. And you've got more of those. Taxes, budget review, financial goal. This is also really good. I like this. Um, some more stickers, food stickers, how much did you pay for groceries and gas, etc. So that is my first Amazon haul and let's get to the second set of things I got from Amazon. Okay, so next from Amazon, already the second order I got a pack of paper mate flare pens I have tried the regular size flare um, the medium point I believe it was and it writes pretty well but these ones just came in basic colors black blue red green they're supposed to be ultra fine which I believe is 0 0.4 tip so we'll see how that goes I also got the big intensity fine liners and these are, once again, fine 0 0.4. I'm looking forward to using those as well. I also got these labels, Carpe Diem Clear Label stickers. And you can use them for your tabs or you can use them in your planner, I suppose. But these are quite nice. Um, it shows you what's in them on the back. And last but not least from Amazon, I got my vertical planner after all. <laughs> so this is another 18 month planner. It's dated July 2019 to December 2020. And it's vertical layout as you can see as opposed to dashboard. We've got the pastel rings. Um, and I haven't opened this up before so you get to open it with me. Okay, I'll take all that sticky stuff afterwards. And this is the cover. It says, your potential is endless. And we've got that beautiful gold foiling. I'm going to open it up. Yep. So welcome to your new happy planner. Hey there. You can see I didn't open it yet. I was waiting to share it with y'all. Can I pop that off? 
No, I'm just gonna go slow and steady. Okay. All right. So this happy fire belongs to. Then we've got 2019 calendar, 2020 calendar. I'm really enjoying the the like tropical wild side kind of vibes that I'm getting from this with the leaves and the animal print. You get your 2020 full calendar as well. Um, July, important dates, things you have to get done. Um, I guess you can put some stuff here, whatever you're thinking about. You can put stickers there too, I would imagine. But I love this pineapple. One of my friends, um, when I was trying to figure out which, which plan I wanted, this one was her favorite. And I chose the other one, but I'm going to have to call her and tell her that I ended up getting this because I chose the wrong layout. So, you know. Um, right, so this is my monthly view. It's dated, so I don't have to put the dates in. Looks like column for notes. Y'all know what Happy Planner looks like. Independence Day. This is based on America. I don't live in America, so that's not when my Independence Day is. So I'll probably put a sticker to plot that out. Ah, here's our lovely vertical. Lovely vertical spread. Very different to the dashboard, but I think, like I said, the dashboard is kind of growing on me. It really, really is. But yeah, this is the vertical spread. Um, of course, it's a happy planner. So your pages come right out. You can plan without the rings being nearby. And you just put the paper back in. And that's the end of that. So this is what the weekly spreads will look like. They're just vertical, have a few quotes, have a few um, checklists. So that's kind of nice. Uh, oh, little cat, big cat, really not a little cat. <laughs> and then this is your upcoming things for August, same as July. I mean, can we get into these dividers, though, these tabs? They're just so pretty. My birthday is in August. I wish it was pink instead of blue, but, you know, it's very pretty. And the it has different side siding, I guess. We've got September. Just taking you through it. Once again, a different design on the side. November. Oh, this is pretty. Just go for it. I think we're back to the original site thing. Uh, wild and free. Yep, and then we just repeat. So we've got a pretty gold foil page here. It says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Uh, January, February, some toucans. March, adventure, life is one big adventure. April, your potential is endless. When I'm finished with this, I'm going to cut this out and put it on my wall. Some nice leaves. I believe it's Monstera. That's a plant that they're from. How about no? That's funny. Another toucan. Uh, what looks like a sun sunrise, sunset. Ooh, yes. The sloth. Let's get lost, and then December is just an abstract print, and that's the end. So I'll be getting into this shortly. That's the planner I got. Whew, okay, moving on. Alrighty, and let's start my Michaels haul off with this rose gold pouch. This was on sale for like $3 or something. And I was like, what? Can't go wrong for $3. You really can't. So, <laughs> there's a little happy planner pouch. It has an elastic piece at the back. I guess you could put it in your planner if you wanted. Um, it's just like a soft, peachy, satiny finish on the inside. Um, yeah, just a storage pouch. So, that's that. Also got... Expander discs, just in case. I might need to get a pot of the regular discs because I want to put my fitness planner and the budget extension. I'm probably going to put them separate. 
Or I might put them in my planner with a different divider. I have not decided yet. But I expanded this in gold just in case. Once again, these are also on sale for like $3. I got the Happy Planner Weekly Box Punch. So it's supposed to be a punch. It says perfect for punching paper and photos. Punching capacity, two paper sheets, one cardstock sheet. Not intended for use with plastic, adhesive, or laminated products. Now, I don't know what this big um, cut here is. I don't know anything about that. I got it like that. So let's hope it's not damaged. Oh, I'm going to tape down very good. Ooh, okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was a production. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that's very interesting. I guess you slide the paper into this thing in the side, and then you clamp down, and then you take your paper out through here. I'm gonna test this out and see how it works, and I'll let you know if I like it, because I've been keeping some pretty papers and pretty cardstock, thinking that I could use it as a spread in my planner if I have the punch. See, it does that cutting motion. So we'll see. Next, three pack of elastic bands. They're literally just elastic bands. If I'm not mistaken, you can put your pen through this loop as well. Also got some notepads. Uh, these come in two colorways. They have 20 sheets each. Ooh, child, don't let me share my camera. There we go. All right. So, oh, stuck on there. Ooh, why would they do that? Now the first page is like ruined. Can you see that? Where they had it glued on? That was like a big um, grease stain on my first page. Wow, I'm not impressed about that. But yeah, there's this like wild one. And this one with um, bright prints. So no, I'm missing a page because that one's ruined. Thanks, Happy Planner. Up next, I got dashboards. Um, on my clothes, this said this was um, teacher dashboards. That's supposed to be meant for teachers, but honestly, I don't think so. As far as I'm concerned, anybody could use anything. Ooh, sorry for the noise, but everything is new. Okay, so we've got like a, a bookmark size one, just black pastels with like paint splatters. That's cute. We've got the next one. It's very pretty. It looks like notebook paper with some glasses and a set of books. And it says all the things. And the last one is lovely plaid. You got this. Well, thanks for the inspiration, happy planner. I got this. And then of course you have your tabs at the top so you can label them whatever you like. And keep all your things separated. Uh, next I got a few accessory packs. This is the teacher accessory pack and it's actually made for the classic happy planner as opposed to their teacher planner which like I said, I think I said it before, is a bit of a different size. Let's uh, see what's in here. All right, planner accessories. Okay, so it comes with your sticky notes and a little um, conversation bubble and then a to-do checklist. And it comes on the plastic peach with the holes already punched. So you can just put that into your planner. What is this? Ooh. Okay, that was just holding things together. All right, so we got a sheet of stickers, parent conference, that would be good for me, some apples, um, eyeglasses, plan prep exam quiz. Ooh, my apologies. Uh, but mark or divider, wake up, teach kids, be awesome. And a folder that says, always choose to be kind. 
and the same thing on the back. Um, there's a lot of note paper in here. So we've got classroom events and volunteers, classroom volunteers, special events and field trips. And then on the opposite side, we've got a classroom checklist. Um, I guess you could use this for attendance as well if you wanted to. There's quite a few pages of that. Yeah, you're not going to run out of that anytime soon. And then this one. Oops. Hold on. All right. This one is pure checklist paper. And it also has the classroom checklist site back. For me, I would like start using it like this and then turn it over to this side because I might have classes with different classes during the term and I might need to try attendance just going right across. So there's a bunch of that paper there. Um, is that all? There's checklists with teacher's notes at the back. Um, what else? Ooh, getting everything mixed up. Forgive me. And that's about it. But yeah, it comes with a lot of different papers and inserts. Let me put that back together. So that's the teacher um, accessory pack. And I think this was on sale too for like maybe like $7 or $9 US. This is a habit tracking accessory pack. I'm supposed to get 137 pieces in here. No, it wasn't here. There's a habit tracker in here. There's stickers, a folder. I think some stencils and some specialty papers or pages or something like that. Right. So let's start out with our habit tracker. So this is the habit tracker here. Uh, you would put your whatever it is you want to track, I believe, on this top line, and then you can color in or check off which days you actually did that habit. It's not sticky, by the way. It's like single sheets. And then there's like note paper on the mat. Oh, that's handy. That's handy. Okay. Multi-purpose. This is a stencil. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? It's um, a banner stencil and then like a checkbook. Um, checkbook, sorry, checklist. Um, stencil, once again, perforated. Okay, that's just what it came in. Comes with a folder. Same, same design on the back. Some stickers, cell phone, branches, banners, a little washi-esque kind of thing at the top. And some numbers. Oh, these are not my favorite numbers. They look kind of big and chunky. I don't really like that. And this is gold foiled paper. It is just dot grid paper. It says brain dump. And yeah, it's dot grid all the way through. So it's that same pattern all the way through. You have your gold foiled with stars and a banner, brain dump. And that's that, essentially. I see in the new release they have the the like orange to pink ombre habit trackers, which is what I wanted initially. So I'm gonna see if I can pick those up next time I'm overseas. And last, but certainly not least, another accessory pack. Yes, I like accessories. Don't judge me, okay? This is supposedly for students, but really anybody can use these as we established before. It's supposed to have 99 pieces. There's paper in here, sticky notes, bookmark or something, um, papers as well. So the first thing that jumped out was the sticky notes. We have a girl's head and then like a really cute notepad with a pencil. Perforated edges to go straight into the planner. What's next? Okay, there's just, okay, this thing just holds all together. I got recycling to do after this, man. So this is the bookmark. It's really pretty. It says, work hard, be kind. 
sticker sheet. Um, we've got some checklists, some planner stickers, a uh, little books, set of books with an apple and glasses. Um, all the cool kids or kind kids, I like that one. Uh, hip hip hooray, etc. This is a super cute folder. The um, large circles are made out of pencils. I thought that was so cute. I mean, it works for me too since I teach, so all of this is quite fine by me. And then you've got your paper. It's all the same. It's notebook paper. So you've got your notebook on one side and your dot grid on the other with a rainbow edge. And the front page says, uh, what does it say? My eyesight ain't so good, y'all. It says, be true to you, shine bright, kindness counts, and know better, do better. Yeah, so that's all that was in the this particular student accessory pack. I believe there's a bunch more student accessory packs. Um, oh my, I was totally mistaken when I said that this was the last thing. Bunch of stickers, so let's just... Um, let's just go through them quickly. Okay, I got these sticker books, the value pack stickers, I think they call them. I got Tiny, Travel, Boss Babe, and Gold Star Quotes. Look at me, I'm knocking away everything. But these are the four sticker books that I got. Uh, let's go through a little. The tiny one has like a bunch of tiny icons, as you might imagine. Um, I thought this was really cute. You got your pink ombre pigs. You could write your savings in that if you wanted to. Some diamonds, payday stickers. I like these ones, these are cute. Um, lots of little icons, TV, washing machine, housework, um, some nice words, eyelashes, haha. And um, some travel ones, suitcase, airplane, globe, etc. So I think these are really cute and they were like foil as well. Maybe I'll do a flip through of this later on. Next, we've got the travel sticker set. Okay, that's gonna annoy me. There we go. Um, it's literally just a bunch of stickers about traveling, which is great. This year I've been traveling a lot um, and I have more traveling to do soon. So I'm gonna use these in my spreads. Compass, some quotes. Um, let's wander. So it's actually like a little itinerary. So you can actually put these stickers in your planner and say like um, these ones here. And you can say which town you went to, what thing you did, etc. Where you're going to next. Um, highlights of your trip. So you can just stick that in and collect your memories right there in your planner. I love this. This is so cute. Not all who wander are lost. Star stickers, the travel is to live, time for adventure, and it has like a little cutout. Um, I believe that goes in a monthly box. See, like it has that little square edge there. I keep shaking, oh, sorry about that. Um, some little location stickers, when, what, who, bon voyage, tabs, itinerary and your plans, so the, what the weather is like, uh, packing lists, countdown, four months, two days, etc. You know, some little tropical vibes, um, quote stickers. Uh, oh, these are pretty gold foil airplanes. Okay, I'm going to flip through this another time properly. Next, we have gold star quotes. I like quotes, by the way. I think they're really cute. Okay, so this one has a bunch of quotes, as you might imagine. She has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. You deserve a whole sheet of gold stars. That's cute. Um, so it's got a bunch of quotes, as well, kind of obvious. Different designs, different... Um, Lettering styles, wander, wonder, repeat. I like that one. Hustle hard, think positive. Yeah, summer loving, fun in the sun, relax. 
Yeah, then you've got party, celebration, that's party. Girl gang, empowered women, empower women. Now, I don't know who really put in these in your planner, but I, I don't find the need to put such a large X in my planner. Ooh, check out that rose gold. Be awesome today. Yeah, rose gold stickers. Yeah, this one's cute. Black and white stickers. Like a bunch of nice quotes. Planners with rose gold foiling, etc. Some tabs. Yeah. This one's solid. Last. Finally. We're at the end. This has been going on forever. I'm sorry about that, but I do love a good haul, so hopefully you will love this haul too. Yeah. Boss babe. So this is all about being a girl boss, being your own boss, or even if you're not your own boss, just working hard at what you do and what you love. So boss babe, we've got some like deco, adjust your crown and take on the day, positive vibes, positive mind. Don't just be busy, be productive. I actually quite like that one. Um, so we got a lot of quotes. We've also got a lot of um, checklists. Um, to do this is so pretty like hey, look at that look at that look at that gold foil yes so you got to do noted and today boxes um arrows checklist once again and you see it says am so if you have to get it done by a certain time in the morning you can put that down um we've got some what i believe is tea is that like tea like if we went to starbucks and then we've got what I assume is coffee, but I could also make that tea because I drink more tea than anything else. We've got some little clocks with numbers. All of them point to three o'clock, except for these ones that are really cute. I don't know if you can see this, but it says no. So everything, every like number on the clock is substituted with no. I think that's so funny. No time for that today. Staplers that say keep it together. That's really cute. I'm super busy, appointments, meeting, stickers, lunch date, lunch meeting, make a call, yes, payday, these are really cute. These ones and the ones in that tiny book I think are the cutest payday stickers. I don't like the payday stickers in the budget one. There's some other little inspirational quotes, laptop, ooh, rose gold, meeting, regular squares, etc. Checklist, gold foils, to do, hustle, and today. Yeah, so that is my huge planner haul. I hope that you were sitting there with maybe a cup of tea or a snack or something, because that took a while. But yeah, I'm hoping that you all enjoy my first video, and I'm going to see you soon in the next one. Thanks. Bye.